Hello everyone, I am here because I want to talk real quick about uh, Extra Life and the Liberty Gaming Club and uh, everything we've done in the last couple of days. Uh, if you don't know me, then my name is Jason. I am the current club president for the Liberty Gaming Club and I also run all the esports program. And I want to talk real quick um, about Extra Life, funds that were raised, how much was raised, problems we had, future things I want to do, um, and rather than do my like normal Discord uh, announcement or my usual like uh, announcement at the Thursday Night Game Club, I decided to just try and do a video to talk about it, um, be a little more direct, um, a little more impactful maybe, but um, I want to start, um, thank you to all the Liberty students and alumni and staff and Seafall students, um, high schoolers who came out to the event, to the event, we had over 120 people sign up on the check-in sheet, and I'm guessing maybe 15 to 20 percent more who um, probably missed it or the computer was locked or only stayed for a short time. So I think this may have been one of the largest extra life events we've done. It was by far the most amount of desktops that were ever brought out to the event for sure. Um, if you notice, we tripped the breaker twice. But uh, I want to say thank you to everyone that came out, and I appreciate so much all your effort and work and money spent donating. And now Extra Life, um, I, if you don't know what Extra Life is, it is a larger organization that raises money for um, children's hospitals all around the U.S. And what they do is they put the money into the Children's Miracle Network which then turns around and puts the money back into the local hospitals from which the money we raised came. So our money is going to when, is going to the Central Lynchburg General and Virginia Baptist Hospitals. And um, as a part of that, we've done this every single semester, um, far back beyond even before I became president. Um, this fall 2019 Extra Life was the sixth one that I've been to. And every semester I'm blown away and exhausted and like completely worn out. Um, I, after being there at 7 a.m. Saturday morning, setting up, running the whole event, and then not leaving until 9 a.m. after cleaning everything up, I went home and slept for 14 hours and then woke up for a little bit and then went back to sleep for like another six. So it's a draining, exhausting, but an insanely fun event for just everyone involved. Um, but as far as how much money was raised, um, you can kind of, you can see here, just finished counting up all the cash, but through the Extra Life website between, uh, the spring 2019 and the, uh, this fall, we raised $4,011 online before even counting the cash. And in cash we have, I have here $1,924 that we raised. So we are just short of raising $6,000 this year. So thank you all so much. Um, Extra Life is like a huge part of what the gaming club does. Uh, it's always by far like takes the most amount of effort, but also the most amount of fun. So thank you everyone. Now there were a couple of um, problems we had during the event, uh, flipping the breakers um, and as well as um, having issues with how much food there was available because if you're not familiar one of the things we usually do is um, you, we use club funds in order to uh, buy food snacks drinks things like that but and then sell that for usually fifteen dollars to cover all three meals and then the money that's paid for those meals go direct go to extra life but one thing that i'm realizing is um there's, it's getting to the point where the club is so large and there's so many people in esports that I don't have enough club funds in order to keep doing that regularly. Um, and on top of that, the uh, student government has asked clubs to spend less money on food and more money on uh, like permanent items, things that will last long term, uh, things like tables or in our case, consoles, controllers, things like that. So. Um, for the future, um, I have some things that I want to change and do and rework for how we do Extra Life. And because of the problems we had with not having enough food and also um, recommendations from the student government, 
we will not be doing um, the standard meals um, that we've done usually in the past. It's been like McDonald's, Taco Bell, Domino's spread out throughout the day, or this year was McDonald's, Zaxby's, and Domino's. Um, just because of the logistics and trying to even doing something like trying to pre-order before the event and get people to put money in early in order to help pay for that, I don't think the the hassle of that is quite worth it. So I've decided not to do normal meals, and especially since um, Demos and Montview has all the food options downstairs and the rot is right nearby um, the dining hall, that it, it would be better to um, focus the funds on things that will benefit the club long term. Uh, and though we will most likely still have large amount snacks, and because those are having snacks, chips, and drinks, and things like that are much cheaper than the full meals. So, in fact, I'll probably add on to have extra more of that available. Um, in addition, every I have made it my goal every semester, every time we get a new budget, to put some amount of money into permanent items. Uh, like I mentioned, which was SGA already wanted us to do. Last semester, I bought a blue Ethernet switch, as well as cables, so that, for example, our, we can use that extra life or the Call of Duty team can use when they're practicing their scrimming or if we run a tournament, things like that. Um, this semester, I decided to spend roughly half of our club budget on buying a uh, Nintendo Switch. So you can see here, I kept one of the Tesla cases for it. Um, but, there you go. So every Thursday night, Friday night, when we have club meetings or esports have team hangouts or things like that, um, the, the Switch um, will be available for that, and as I keep going on semester through semester, I want to keep doing things like that, so that over time, uh, we can have a collection of consoles, monitors, speakers, keyboards, mice, um, probably not f like desktops, it's a little beyond the scope of the budget that I have, but things like that that allow the club to be open to people beyond just the people who already own those that equipment. Uh, because and I think that, and I think really the, one of the things that this will help with a lot is at Extra Life, um, especially I want to keep trying, I want to keep running it during Seafall if possible. I think it was a very successful idea, especially um, with some of the sponsors that we brought in and keep growing out the, the, the event in order to um, attract um, and appeal to Seafall students. Uh, because those are often game like whenever I was a high school student and I came to extra, I came to gain the university for Seafall. I came to Extra Life. It was one of the few times it had been, been done during Seafall before I became president, and it is I was like sixty percent sold on Liberty, and the gaming club sold me. I was I was set. So, and I would there's no other place I'd rather be. Um, the club has been like a huge part. The esports program has been. In, pretty much all of my friends have come from so that's that's what I want to keep growing in order to appeal and provide for CFL students at Extra Life and give more options to people who um, might not have all the equipment um, like some of us are blessed to have uh, so that's kind of where I'm planning to go with the budget and with Extra Life um, as a whole um, but as a part of that uh, I want to say thank you so much to Tespa, Discord, um, Riot through their College League of Legends program, Coca-Cola, Meeples, and Self-Made Esports, all of which who donated items or gave us supplies or funds, and Collegiate Star League. All of, the, all of them help make the event possible, and the, the tournaments we run, the food, the drinks, the streams, like none of the games we've played, all of that stuff wouldn't be possible without um, their help. So thank you so much to all those guys. Um, they've all been super fantastic. Um, and and also thank you to all the club officers um, and students who ran uh, the Overwatch tournaments, Dota, League of Legends, um, the role-playing games that people ran. I mean, I saw people playing like Dungeons and Dragons for six or eight hours, which was fantastic. Um, so thank you so much to all you guys um, for money transparency reasons um, this amount of cash from this semester and last semester 
a small amount of it I'll be saving, setting aside, and using to you know provide change at future next extra life. But all of it I will be depositing it in the bank and then and then donating all online to the um, on the extra life online page within the next couple of days. Uh, so just for transparency's sake, that that's what I'll be doing with the with those funds. Um, but again, thank you everyone. Uh, I look forward to next year extra life. Good luck to all of our teams as you can continue competing. Um, I'm always your biggest fan. Um, even if I'm a Dota fan, League of Legends, keep doing good. Thank you guys.